Right, in this tutorial I'm just going to create a three-page website uh, very simply and very quickly. Um, and what we're going to have in this one is some video, audio and an image. So I have a, a set of media files here which I've already downloaded. Um, now it helps to have a bit of structure in these things before you get going. So what I'm going to do is um, in my three-page site here, I'm going to create a new folder. The first one's going to call it, be called audio, A-U-D-I-O like so, and you'll see that's now in there. Another folder called video, and another one called images, simply IMG. Now, uh, this three-page side A thing, don't worry about it, it is coming through from the screen recorder, uh, as is that track file. Now, um, I already have an index.html from the last uh, video, um, but I've deleted the contents on that one. Um, but I haven't refreshed this yet, so if I hit a refresh on that, you see nothing happened. So what I'm going to do now is, um, first of all, set up the document. So if you're using Atom without Emmet and you type in HTML, um, you'll get the, the prompt here. But if you hit Tab like you'd normally do, what happens with Emmet installed is you just get the HTML tags. So we want the, um, the full boilerplate. So what we're going to do is type in HTML and click on this instead, and that'll give you back this. So I'm going to call the title of this one will be three page site. Um, and then in the body, I'm going to set up the navigation. Now we do have Emmet, so we can use Emmet to our advantage here. So the first thing I want is a nav. And then to place an element inside the nav, I use that. Um, and what I want is an unordered list. And within that unordered list, I want list items. And within the list items, I want anchors. Okay. Now, uh, it is a three-page site. So really what I want are three list items and three anchors associated. So in Emmet, what I can do is just put this into brackets and multiply by three. Oops. Okay, that's better. Now, when I hit tab, uh, it should build all of that out for me. So I'll just do that, and there we go. Um, the hrefs have been left blank, blank. So I'm going to call this one index.html. And here I'm going to call this home. Uh, over here in the href, I'm going to call this page2.html. And this one will be audio. Actually, make a bit more sense to just call that audio, wouldn't it? And this one can be video. .html. And then we can put video in here. Okay. Um, that's all of that in. And what I'll do now is perhaps underneath, or above the navigation, I'm going to put in H1. So H1 tab, <coughs> uh, home page with image for the sake of argument. And uh, I'm going to control S at this point and see what I've got in here. So there we go, home page with image. And we have our links home, audio, and video. And those aren't going to be doing anything at the moment because those files haven't been created. So to create these, what I'm going to do is uh, right click on the index.html and click duplicate and call them the names I need to. So I'm going to call it audio, A-U-D-I-O, enter. I'm going to do this again. So duplicate again and call it video. And that will be that. And you'll see there now I've got my index page, my audio page, and my video page. So, um, okay, let's change this. So this is going to be audio on the H1 tag. And because this is already on the audio page, I really don't want to keep hitting the server with it. So I'll just put in a hash in there like so and save that one. And this is the video page here. So we'll do the same. Video page and under video.html, I'm just going to change that to a hash. Control S to save that. 
Um, so that's video sorted, audio sorted, and just go back to the index and I will just change that there to hash and control S that one. So um, with all of that done, it should be possible to uh, refresh our page here. And there's our home page, there's our audio page, and there's our video page. And go back to home, audio, video. So flicking through nice and simply. And those are all just being uh, put together in that. Now, the next thing you do is actually put in uh, some images, audio, and video. So um, first thing I need to do here is to put these files into the correct location. So um, we've already created the audio, image, and video tags here. So I'm just going to see if I can just drop them straight in. So MP4 is a video. Let's see what it go into there. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do much of anything. All right, so we'll have to do this uh, the other way. So there's my files here. I'm going to grab the video and pop it in there. Uh, let's see. I should probably have extracted it. Um, hit the OGV while I'm at it and pop it into video. Yep, they're in. This is a zip file here, which is why they're not moving. Uh, let's go to audio. And let's grab those two and pop them in. So I can see I'm copying them over. Okay. And finally, the image. So the moon image there like that. Okay. So we'll just do that. Uh, the next thing is, uh, well, the index page here, underneath navigation, let's put in uh, an H2 and go image of the moon. And then just type in IMG, hit tab, and it'll ask for the source. So our source in this case is IMG forward slash, and maybe we can see it here. Yeah, moon.jpg. So moon.jpg. Alternative, moon footprint. So I'm just going to save that and uh, refresh. I'll go back to my home page there. And there's our image in. OK, that's that one. So next, we'll have a crack at the audio. So again, we're going to put in a, an H2 here and say audio. Um, I can't remember, it's fanfare or something. Fanfare for the common man, I think. Now, in this one, we need to pop in the audio file, but we do need to be cognizant of, um, of fallbacks and things like that. So. First of all, we can use the HTML audio tag. So AUDIO, let's click on that. And it'll ask for a source. Now, um, the, by default, this is not really giving us what we want. So AUDIO, uh, no, I'm not getting what we want here. So we're going to have to build this out a bit. Um, the snippets aren't really doing what we want them to. So I was going to take that out of there as well. So with the audio tags there, the first thing I want to do is turn on controls. Okay, so they're in now controls. And now I need to put in a source. So, oops, let's end it at work. S O U. So in this case here, we need to click on it to get, still not working. Try again. Now we get source. Um, by default, it is trying to give us the full URL, but we're going to use relative addressing on this thing. So I'm going to put this to audio forward slash. Uh, let's get the name then. Actually, can might as well use our editor here and see there. Fanfare. So fanfare dot mp3. Um, type is going to be audio forward slash mpeg the G 
Uh, what we can do now is simply copy that down. So Control C, Control V. Uh, let's line that up again. And our other file type is an OGG. So I'll change that to OGG and change this to OGG. So Control S this, take that out of there maybe. Um, it's hopefully all taken care of now. So if I go to my audio page, you can see there it is, audio, fanfare for the common man. And if I hit play on that, it works. Um, next one is video. So let's get a look in there. Um, okay, let's go make another H2 here and call this uh, video. I have no idea what the video is. Um, I know it's from Creative Commons, so I'll do that. So video, use the video tag again. Uh, we're going to take all of that stuff off. We're not going to autoplay it. We don't have a poster. Um, so I'll just have controls on that then. Okay, let's close that one there. And we do need to put in a source. And again, we are not going to use the um, full HTTP URL. We're just going to use uh, that video there. So it's video, ID forward slash, um, let's go with the MP4, because we've done uh, MP3 on the, the other one. Uh, ED HD five one two KB dot MP four and our meantime meme type will be video MP four I think just double check yep video MP four and as before control C control V uh, just to copy that and let's see this one is called edhd on ogv let's change the ogv first so ed underscore hd uh, dot ogv that looks fine and it's going to be ogg so control s that let's delete this control s should really just tidy it all up really Okay, I think this should be okay, and let's have a look. So everything's been saved, I'm gonna click on the video, and here we go. So it seems to be loading up, uh, hit the play button, and there it is. So that is that working. All right, so that's sort of the basics of it, uh, image, audio, and video. All right, um, thank you for watching.